Dizians of Nurgle. Uh, this will be a quick how to win with Death Guard, Noxious Blightbringer, and Plague Surgeon edition. All these images I found on Google off their images page and they were taken from there. If you have any questions, remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and ask questions. I'll do my best to answer them. So, straight away, you've got Movement 5, Weapons Ballistic Skill 3, Strength 4, Toughness 5, 4 Wounds, 3 Attacks, 8 Leadership, and a 3 Up Armor Save. You get, and you get no choices in equipment, guys. This guy just comes as he is. You get a Plasma Pistol, a Cursed Plague Bell, Blight Grenade, and a Crack Grenade. Um, the Plague Bell is kind of funny because he's got that little bell in his left hand. You can hit people over the head with it. I just find that humorous. It does two wounds each. It is a plague weapon. Uh, Black Grenade, of course, is a plague weapon. And he has the normal death to the false emperor and disgustingly resilient. His main role is Toxin of Misery. Units must subtract one from their leadership whilst they're within seven inches of an enemy. Noxious Blightbringers. Psychers must subtract two instead. So this could be a good counter psychic tech. In addition, if a Death Guard unit is within 7 inches of this model when it advances, roll 2 dice and discard the lowest result when determining the distance. So what do I think this guy should do? This guy is a support piece all day long. You should have him close to your units so that they can help. he can help them advance faster when you need them to to get them up into the enemy's face where they can do the most damage, especially your Pox Walkers who are already only speed 4, I'm sorry, movement 4. And then they can keep getting up there and getting up there and getting there faster, which is what we want our pox walkers to do because we don't want them to get shot off the table. Um, and he also helps with, you know, enemy psychers if they're within seven of him. They fell that perils of the warp thing, you know, goes from there. That could be a great thing. Uh, the other bit being enemy model or enemy units. Well, if he's behind a unit of pox walkers that has just annihilated an enemy unit and caused them to fail a leadership test you know hey not only are you making more pox walkers but you're reducing the number of retaliatory attacks they still would have had had they passed their leadership test uh, he's also got the plasma pistol which Raul only range 12 you're going to have him up front anyway so you need to put a, a heavy shot in somebody I think this would be a great guy to do that with because he is a ballistic skill of three up he would certainly be able to at least reach out and touch an important model or put that final wound on some big thing that has been annoying you that you just need to have die um, whether it be an enemy terminator an enemy dread that your pox walkers have taken down and then he annihilated your pox, walk pox walkers in return and he's only got like one or two wounds left throw the plasma pistol madam and you would have to supercharge it to get the plus two or get two wounds but at least you stand a fair shot at doing it so I think he's a good choice he comes in at four power excuse me while I look up his points mm -hmm. he comes in at 63 points and that's not going to change because you can't change his equipment so I think he's a good good unit I think you should take him. It would be a great addition to your army. And since he comes in the Death Guard little box they have for Dark Imperium, great thing that you should have one, at least one of already, if not maybe more, depending on what you bought. Plague Surgeon. Uh, same stat line as the Noxious Blightbringer. He comes essentially as he is. You get a bolt pistol, a bail sword, blight grenades, and crack grenades. Uh, so the black grenades and the bell sore are of course plague weapons so you get to re-roll fails to wound i didn't find that many images for him on the uh google so i just ended up going with the artwork i could find and the artwork's pretty nifty uh he has death of the fall Emperor, disgustingly resilient tainted narthis narthisium you can re-roll disgusting resilient rolls of one made by made for friendly death guard infantry units within three inches of this model so, at least if you're up front with the, your army, you can hopefully allow them to have rerolls on their Disgustingly Resilient to annoy your opponent. Gene Seed Thief is kind of just an added bonus to hit the opposing, you know, Loyalist Marines a little bit harder. Um, it doesn't really do anything within the game itself, 
other than I would add a plus one to all hit and wound rolls made with this model in the fight phase when targeting an Adeptus Astartes infantry or biker unit. Um, this gentleman, and I use the term loosely, this gentleman comes in at 59 points. So you don't get a plasma gun, but you do get some other cool rules. Uh, I think he's a good piece to have up front with your army. He may not give as much support as the Noxious Blightbringer since he has to be within 3 inches as opposed to 7. But I think he would still be a good piece to have in your unit so that you can see what he's doing. So what are your thoughts? Let me know what you think. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what your loadout is. And as always, keep on wargaming.